Okay, I've decided that I'm gonna get rid of the Sentinel Cannon. Now, I might regret this. But, um, I need the slots, so. And I do have these S-Class upgrades, but I notice the Infra Knife seems to work in the same places as the Sentinel Cannon. And I just like the Infra Knife more. And so I'm going to pick between the two and I'm going to keep the Infra Knife. And hopefully I'll get another S-Class upgrade um, for it. Okay, now we can build, hold on. All right, let's go and get Indium now. We need indium for the modified quanta. We need a hundred indium. get out of the stuff with these pirates. Now you notice the ball tells you that is where your indium is at. Milestone accomplished. Rover warp 25 times. Uh -oh. I hit the cargo ship. Journey milestone accomplished. Fighter destroyed 30 stars. Alright, there's the entrance. I'll use W to go in fairly slow. Uh, before I go up, let's see. This is a C class. 39 million, though. Not really interested. Uh, no, I'm just request payment.
S class movement module. I'm going to take that. So let's install. Where's the S class movement module again? So let's reload the game. see if reloading worked. No. Let's try reloading this one. Again, number four. Product received. Okay, let's do a harder exit. Quit. Okay, let's try again. We got it, finally, after a hard load. Okay. Sprint recovery, 36%. Uh, let's get the uh, exosuit upgrade. Since we used one up here, let's add one up there. Let's take an S class infra knife module. Why don't we get a second movement? Well, I don't know if this issue is good or bad. Salt, high sentinel activity. What does it mean to, for a planet to be redacted? Cactus active. This is the only one that has regular India, so we'll go. Alright, sentinels are enforcing. Uh, it's a pretty barren planet. this other one. What's, the, what's this? Rusted metal. Let's take a little bit and just have a look at this. Oh, we could turn that the rusted metal into a lot of ferrite. Here. Technology recharge. 428 rusted metal. If you put the rusted metal in here, Notice 856 ferrite. Recharge. 
Meanwhile, we have 393 indium. The modified quanta we can now make with the Nove reclaimant and a hundred of the India. Now, the heart of the sun with a hundred gold and one modified quanta. it was a Poros Dab orbital that we had the Atlas at. Okay, you go around this circle and you click E on each one of them. You're going to have to do all of them. Now you go to the center one and you put the heart of the sun in there. Clarity. So this is Nexus Scatali, Clarity, Truth, Actuality, Pasugi, whatever that is. I stand at the interface of the Atlas. I stand at the Forge of Worlds. This is how it showed me what it was. This is how the Atlas shared the nature of its life, the workings of its mind. It never required prayer. It never required worship. All that it asked of me, all that it ever wanted, it was just input. It was just a user. Unbidden, the Atlas seeds gravitate towards the doorway. The void is meant to be filled. Nothingness yearns for a soul. If I do this, a star will be born. If I do this, I will become more than I ever thought possible. I will birth a new star. There is nothing and then there is everything. I see a star blaze to life within the void. The spread of life, planets, creatures to give it meaning. For a moment, I am as the Atlas is. For a moment, I am the creator of worlds. The fabric of time and space stands revealed to me. Black holes swarming from system to system. The Atlas screams. And I get the formula for the star seed. Platinum, tritium, and gold. So wants me to install the star seed. We need tritium, gold, and platinum. 
All right, let's go. Is the Atlas path up there? All right, the objective is to reach a black hole on the galaxy map. This is probably because you get access to black holes. We can get platinum, indium, and gold from asteroids anyway. So we'll shoot asteroids. There's indium. We have gold. We just need platinum. Tritium. Platinum, bingo. All right. We got enough. Tritium, gold, and platinum. All right, now we want to reach a black hole. X, F. Alert. Navigational data received. Now, if you look on the map, you can see black holes. It's those swirly symbols. Now this is interesting because it's got a double squirrely symbol. Squirrely. Let's go to that. There's an alien. We don't want to miss him. Traveler Pilsha. I approached a lost traveler. Their skin is translucent as if they were not truly there. Hold, I'm looking for a missing Gek. Perhaps you'd recognize this face. The traveler shows me an image of a Gek. They watch me keenly explaining that they were hired to find this individual by the Trade Federation itself. Um, I asked for more information. The traveler claims they cannot comment. They seem disappointed that I know nothing and wish me good luck with my journey. All right, now speak to him again. He, Traveler Pilsha says, my friends. What happened to my friends? Please, I need to leave this place. Return to the fleet. There is so little time. I give him a hundred nanites and ask where they came from. He offers directions to a place of interest. Ilk's boundary says depths of the world zzz, through caves I fled until I found the zzz, signals everywhere like the monoliths but zzz, spread through underground networks pulsating with zzz, vortex cubes zzz, trace sentinel elements energies but that doesn't the fallen traveler's grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. I extract the glyph. And with it, the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the fallen traveler in peace. I, I now have six glyphs and a memory fragment. Okay, let's head into the black hole. We are 704,742 light years from the center. Okay, and... 
X F six hundred and ninety eight thousand from the center. No longer have the Atlas quest line, we've completed it. Okay, in the next episode, as you can see, we finished the Atlas quest. So we will pick up with the first traveler by going to a hollow terminus to contact Apollo, and I believe we'll meet No. Thank you for watching.